In the fertile soil of our church community, something remarkable is happening. It's a journey of growth, of transformation, of planting seeds that will blossom into something beautiful. Just as the gardener carefully attends to each seed, our volunteers nurture our community with love, compassion, and unwavering dedication. I've been volunteering at the Church of the World 10 years. I can't remember exactly, but I've been at the church about 13 years. I've been volunteering at the Church of Aurora for about 15 out of the 20 years that I've been a member here. I joined this church in 2017, so it's been six or seven years now that I've been volunteering at church. I have been a member of this church for almost exactly four years, so less than four years since I retired. So it's probably been about 16 years now. Once I retired, I was looking around for a purpose because I've always had a purpose in life. Our volunteers are as diverse as the seeds we plant. Each one brings their own unique skills, talents, and perspectives, enriching our community in countless ways. I feel strongly that all, all people should have a church home, a place where they can go to worship God, where they can be supported by uh, the community of the church, and that they can grow spiritually. I'd like everybody to have that opportunity, and that's one of the reasons why I've been so enthusiastic about this role. While I'm interested in helping others grow spiritually, I'm also looking forward to growing myself as well. So it's been a wonderful opportunity so far. When I came here, I felt like people saw me, welcomed me if I came on Name Tag Sunday, they called me by name. And when I wanted to talk to somebody or get involved in something, people rejoiced it. They were very happy to have me. I've always felt like being a greeter was a ministry made for me <laughs> because I'm an easy smiler. I like to say hello to people. I like to uh, have other people feel as welcome coming here as I I like to volunteer because it's that returning part where I can give a little bit of my time and maybe a little bit of talent if I have any. Um, to give back to, you know, bring joy and to think about others. So it's a great way to give back and, um, and also get involved um, and meet a lot of new people. But volunteering isn't always easy. Like waiting for seeds to grow, it requires patience, perseverance, and a steadfast commitment to our mission. The people that serve on the membership committee right now and that I work closely with them, they all have a heart for the same things that I have a heart for. We work well together because they all have the same desire to make sure that the people feel welcomed and that they find their path to becoming a member of this church, that they want to come back. The return on investment is high. A lot of it can come down to what you want to do in the role and how you work with others. And that's one of the great things about them is there are so many people that you're willing to work with you and support. And it's certainly not uh, a big burden, but uh, it's something that people should give some thought to as they're considering it. The time commitment for the elders committee is uh, a monthly meeting. We meet uh, right after church on the first Sunday of every month. We typically meet for a couple hours. Uh, outside of that, there's always, uh, you know, a number of other opportunities uh, to lend our time and talent and we break down the, the responsibilities of the committee amongst the different members. We have our monthly meeting. People get along well. People throw a lot of ideas in there. There's never ill will between people, even when we have different uh, We work together to get all of the different jobs done, whether it's bringing cookies or lunch for Discover TCIA meetings or signing up name tags or having the greeter sign up, um, and people just kick in. If, if you're here, you do it. I think of it as uh, serving God uh, through serving the church. It's about nurturing. Just as seeds need care to grow, our volunteers provide support, encouragement, and a helping hand to those in need. It's such an honor to be able to go sit with people, to listen to their stories, to hold their hand and to just be a part of 
their life at that moment. I find that if there's anything I can do to help them feel love and to feel sure of themselves, to take away their fears, but mostly just to know that they have a friend, it is, it's just such a privilege to be in that position. With each passing day, their efforts bear fruit, transforming lives and shaping our community for the better. This way, we grow our membership, which grows our church, which grows our fellowship, which grows our community, which grows the number of volunteers and people that we can have that are supporting the church and being the legs, the hands and feet of Jesus in, in our community. I want this to be a place where people feel welcome. For in the soil of our church community, seeds of kindness, generosity, and love are taking root, ready to blossom into something truly extraordinary. It's just a circular, beautiful thing that, that repeats itself, that you, you love others, they love you, you bless others, you are blessed, and it goes around and around, and the more you do it, the more beautiful it is. Join us on this journey of growth, of transformation, of planting seeds that will change the world. Together, we can make a difference. Do you feel the call? Pray about it. Talk to people that have done it before. Um, talk to others that you trust. Um, but I would say that uh, there's not a lot of downside. Uh, so it's always worth taking that step out. I do think of it as a, a step in faith. Is this the right move for me? And I pray on it and I think about it. Um, and if it moves me, uh, I say yes. And I've said yes pretty much every time. What I believe about church is that we offer a community. We offer another family. We offer a place where people can be loved and can learn to love others and be a part of a crew that is all working towards the end result of making the world a better place.